I, I'm dead. I just died, and we didn't score. What a bummer. Here we go. Nice and easy. Red person puts it in the hole. Taking on Moleto, who does well. And Stone cold killer. Whack. They like it. So you got to throw the ball up if it hits this plate. Next up on Fun Sport Friday, we got Buzkashi. Central Asian game. Very popular. You play with a dead goat carcass they say it can weigh up to 99 pounds if you're wondering if that was a drone flying in the air it was if you're wondering if there have drones flying but they're still using dead goats as the ball they are they very much are you go on horseback you take the goat and you try to put it in this giant hole this is a very formal game there's informal games where there's no boundaries uh oh let's just gonna need to get that one in the hole oh my god i i'm dead i just died and we didn't score. What a bummer. Here we go. Nice and easy. Red person puts it in the hole. Opponent falls in the hole with the goat carcass. That's a shitty way to lose. Number five is going to come up here and get a good block. Let number six take the goat. Put it in the hole. Score a goal. They're excited. What a sport, huh? What a wild sport. They said it originated because tribes would go steal other tribes' goats and then ride away. And then they would get chased like give us our goat back and they're like yo that's pretty fun all this goat stealing we do let's turn it into a game this dude's got an open lane he's got to turn this guy ooh ooh nice little move turns that guy around gets the goat right in that giant hole goes for a fun ride himself fist pump i love how universal the fist pump is okay let's pick up this goat oh shit now we're just trampling a goat seems kind of fucked up but here we go oh did i mention the goats headless they cut the goats head and feet off not sure how that makes the gameplay any different, but they do it. Bam. One point for that team. All right. This guy on the left here, he's got nice and easy, nice and easy. Just put this in. No, wait. I think I'll just die instead. Instead of scoring. <laughs> Goat in. Horse backs out. Not interested. All right. Number four in blue. Nice, easy target. Bummer, dude terrible goat fall oh my god this guy's getting his red pollard on getting dragged around that's pretty scary oh i see you're interested in picking that up you interested in dying boom crushed next up nice and easy in the hole Buzkashi. what a sport it is fun sport friday and we're going to the inuit ear pulling championships nice victory here next check out this next guy stone cold killer Wax string around both ears, just sitting in the igloo, wondering how are we going to pass time. They say the goal of this, ooh, I won, is to just uh, endure pain. That's the entire goal of the sport. See who can endure pain. Got a lot of people. This guy, he looks like he's crying already. He's, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, he won, but I think his ear lost. Oh my God, this guy's a silent killer. Holy shit, he just snapped that. That dude's ear's bleeding. That dude's ear is bleeding. Now, look at the blood. Oh, my God. Stone Cold Killer on the right. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're bleeding, dude. Your ear's bleeding. Okay, good game. You beat me. Yeah, my ear's bleeding. I endured pain. Okay, here we go. So they say that, you know, the life is tough. Inuit life's tough. So they got to teach their kids to endure pain. So this is a game they played. Seems fucking nuts. Here we go. Stone Cold Killer, oh, snaps that guy. That sends Blue Shirt to the loser's bracket. Here's the loser's bracket. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. His face and his ear are so scrunched. The whole dude's life is scrunched up. Other guy wins, but did he? Because he's crying. It's all about enduring pain. Oh, my God. Ah, nice quick victory there. Some tears. That had to hurt, but he moves on. Now he's going to face Blue Shirt. And the winner of this... Gets to face that killer in the championship. Oh, my God. Blue shirt loses round one. We got tears in the eyes. We got, oh, blue shirt wins round two. Rubber match. Blue shirt gets it. All the pain the other dude endured for nothing. But now he's got to face the Stone Cold Killer. He's Stone Cold Killer says, hey, man, you're bleeding on the rope. Just get that blood out of here. Beats him two in a row. This guy showed up in jeans, a collared shirt, and a vest. He's going to walk over to the table and put on his reading glasses and say, okay, yeah, I'm the world champion ear puller. I got to go back to my day job, though. Thanks for having me. See ya. What is going on here? Friday fun breakdown time. We got Finnish baseball. It's actually called pop, 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 something like that. Here we go. Here's the pitch. It is 
up and the swing. Yeah, let's backtrack a little and look at talk about what the fuck we're talking about. This is finished baseball. Basically, they said a guy in 1907 visited America, watched a baseball game, came back to Finland, and was like, guys, I heard about this new sport. Check it out. Drew out the map. You got first base to second base, third base, back home. You got the right shortstop here, the left shortstop's here. Uh, if you catch the ball on a fly, it's not an out. You have to actually throw it to the base. And uh, we got back here with the right fielder and then the left fielder. So dude came back from America, drew up this sport. They played one game. He was like, ah, I think I got some stuff wrong. They're like, no, we like it, man. We like it. This is a lot of fun. Like, okay, but this isn't really what I saw. It's a little different. They're like, okay, well, this is now our sport. Here it is. Some gameplay. They, uh, a lot of advertisements, a lot of, I don't really know. It's. It's pretty weird. <laughs> it's pretty weird. But they like it. They like it. So you got to throw the ball up. If it hits this plate, it's a strike. It's got to go a certain distance. He gets three chances. He can swing, put it in play, and be like, nah, I don't like that one. He gets three to choose from. So here we go. This is this big play here. Here we go. Wax it down the right field line. Oh, my God. There's a river in play. No fences allowed in Finland, I guess. This guy's got to go get wet. I wonder if you lose a bet to play right field. Throws it to that guy. I didn't even notice this part. He throws it to his friend like, here, fucking take this. I'm wet. That dude drops it. Ah, shit. I got to go to the other side of the river. He gets it in play. Why even try? The runner gets to third base. He scores that dude. But guess what? In Finnish baseball, if you get the third base, that's a home run. It counts as a run, and then you can score another run by going home. Excitement all around for this man who shot the river. What a goal. Yeah, you think fences would be built, but now nah, they're like, fuck it. This sport's weird enough. Let's just put a river in right field. Look at that mascot. Kind of scary. Yeah, scary for sure. This guy's so excited. Oh, yeah, you guys like that home run? The crowd's going wild. You're talk about the champions coach but well, I'll tell you about drama and the versatility that he brings into this team side Makaba Tundoro Rahale taking on Moleko Udazwa and Moleko Rahale operating on the left be full of tricks and try and unlock Moleko who so far one situation, they still have the aerial ammunition of Kamsa. Now, when you press that much like they are doing now. Now there's a Ndoro. And uh, there's not, this, they're still alive here, but Mola can recycle across the face of Katsan. Then they gave the cover on the right hand side. Taborakane to the right flank is uh, from under Paris I should say it was Fiso Miani scored from a set piece a beautifully taken free kick and then uh, yeah, yeah, the and the equalized for Kaiser Chiefs but uh, both have since Rakhane Taborakane Slides past the marker. Still, Rakhale comes back to Tabo Rakhale. Godinho trying to close him. Concedes a throw in. Now that's a ball on goals. Haven't had a great deal of goal mouth action though. As Tabo Rakhale wins the free kick. Ten months out is a long time, so it'll take on a cool head there from Moleko. Back, if the coach uses a Kali Black Level Cup to say, but at least I won the Kali Black Level Cup. So you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yes, Rakali. Starting to turn it on a little bit. Is that we will talk about the champions coach, but just given the fact it's a popularity vote. Uh, but, uh, Maybe legs there from Tepe Masilem as he tried to get onto that one. It's uh, Rakhane. 
such a good area. I don't even think he knew what he wanted to do with that ball because I think it was on for him to just take it the first time around. The ball in there. Oh, I don't know whether the, the coaches will take the opportunity to use the, the subs that they're allowed to. They can use up to seven changes. And of course, if you're going to make all seven changes, that really will pick the rhythm of the game. Gabuza combines with uh, Rachale. Can get the ball from underneath his feet and it's, it's got stolen ball for, for Steve Compella. So this playing concept has always been there, but it's just a question of getting the players to try and perfect it. So to an extent they haven't. But there could be a chance here. Yeah, Nick Benancuna forced into a set. Rachale fires in and it's blocked by Gabuza. Yeah. cross in. Just a little rasping shot with a walk in him out. 